Now we're going to take you to Singapore because uh, Chinese Admiral Sun Jiang Wu is uh, the person who's leading the Chinese delegation and he's uh, delivering a speech right now and uh, we'll take you there and see what he has to say. are on the rise. The Asia-Pacific civilizations blend in harmony. In the host country Singapore and in other ASEAN countries or elsewhere in the Asia-Pacific region, mutual accommodation, communication and learning among societies and cultures are vibrant. We offer mutual support and we stand up together in face of transnational challenges such as terrorism, climate change, natural disasters, and spread of disease, etc. Peace, prosperity, and stability in the Asia-Pacific region are hard won. It is a result of the unswerving adherence to peaceful development, equality, mutual benefit, and win-win cooperation by countries and peoples in the region. Today, the Asia-Pacific countries have constituted a community of shared destiny, interdependent and inseparable. A bright future for the Asia-Pacific region has to be facilitated by common development and underpinned by common security of all regional countries. To promote common development, China has put forward the Belt and Road Initiative and set up Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and the Silk Road Fund. To safeguard common security, China advocates a new security outlook featuring inclusive, shared, and win-win security cooperation of all. Not long ago, Chinese President Xi Jinping proposed at the opening ceremony of the CICA foreign ministers meeting that the Asia-Pacific countries should jointly build a security governance model that suits the characteristics of the region. From the defense and military perspective, China believes that countries in the Asia-Pacific region should work together in the following respects to promote security governance. Promote security governance to serve peace and development, the theme of our times. Peace cannot be more precious. Peace and stability represent the trend of times, while development and prosperity represent the common aspiration. The prospect of world peace and development is better secured if all countries stick to the path of peaceful development. One should abandon the outdated zero-sum mentality, replace confrontation or monopoly with win-win cooperation, address and address the reasonable concerns of others while pursuing one's own interests. Respect the security needs of others while safeguarding one's own security and join hands in promoting peace and stability in the region. The Chinese military is committed to world peace and regional stability. Among the five permanent members of the UN Security Council, China is the largest contributor of peacekeepers. 
Its contribution to UN peacekeeping funds has risen to the second place in the world. We are earnestly implementing the promise by President Xi Jinping at the UN peacekeeping summit in September 2015 to speed up the formation of an 8,000 strong standby force. On June the 1st, before I came for the dialogue, the Chinese engineering contingency in Mali suffered a terrorist attack. One Chinese soldier died and five were wounded. Those wounded soldiers are still in hospital. Last year alone, 129 UN peacekeepers sacrificed their lives for the peace of the mankind. Since 2008, December 2008, the Chinese Navy task forces have provided protection to over 6,100 ships in the Gulf of Aden, half of which are foreign ships. Over the past 10 years, the Chinese military has participated in 27 international humanitarian emergency relief operations, offering 24 countries with aid worthy of 1.23 billion RMB. We have actively assisted developing countries to strengthen their national defense without imposing any political preconditions. Currently, the Chinese military is undergoing a holistic and revolutionary transformation. A total of 300,000 servicemen will be downsized. I believe there is a huge difference between the Chinese military and the advanced militaries in the world in that military expenditure per capita for a Chinese soldier is only some 60,000 U.S. dollars compared with 200,000 to 300,000 U.S. dollars for either an American or British. French or Japanese soldier. So the Chinese military must push forward with reform, raise efficiency, strengthen capacity building, and speed up development. China holds high the banner of peace, development, cooperation, and win-win, while pursuing a national defense policy that is defensive in nature. China has no hegemonic ambition. The Chinese military, as a result of reform, will enhance self-defense and defensive capabilities and render more accomplishments towards regional and international peace and security. Promote mutual communication and learning among civilizations, thus laying a solid foundation for security governance. Diverse ethnicities, religions, cultures, as well as multiple social systems, development paths, and economic strengths coexist in the region. Asia-Pacific countries have different perspectives and concerns over security issues. China opposes linking terrorism to a particular religion or civilization. Rather, we would facilitate dialogue and exchanges for inclusiveness and mutual learning, advocate harmony with diversity, and support transforming the diversity and differentiation of civilizations and nations into vitality and mobility, so as to specific region as an example of peaceful and harmonious coexistence.
the Chinese, the Chinese Ministry of National Defense and the Chinese military actively carry out all-round international exchanges and mutually beneficial cooperation, deepen mutual confidence with other countries, and constantly enrich and expand exchanges and cooperation programs. We are committed to building a new type of China-U.S. defense and military relations featuring mutual trust, cooperation, no conflict, and sustainability. We are constantly deepening the exchange in humanitarian aid and disaster relief, peacekeeping and counter piracy, etc. Recently, the two sides, along with others, are preparing for the participation of RIMPAC 2016. Between China and Russia, the military relations are maintained at a high level. The two sides held the first joint computer-based missile defense war game recently. Pragmatic cooperation has been further deepened. In light of the important consensus of building a community of shared destiny reached by the Chinese and Pakistani leaders, the two militaries are steadily enhancing and expanding regional counterterrorism cooperation. The Chinese and Indian defense and military leaders have exchanged visits within six months, jointly ushering the bilateral military relations into a new phase. China-Japan defense exchanges are in the process of being restored. 